Cameron Kickletter here for Arabian Horse Times and AHGTV. Today we are at Hennessy Arabians. They are one of our AHGTV sponsors here at Region 12. So we're gonna go see some horses, meet some people, and I'm gonna try some of George Z's legendary sausages. I'm George Z, and we're at Tennessee Arabia. You know, all the people from East Coast have a place once a year that they come together, and uh, basically it's like a one big party, at least for me, you know? So, uh, so no, this is, uh, Region 12 is home. It's definitely home, and because of the uh, quality, because uh, the quality of horses and competitors at Region 12, I think, is one of the best in the United States. So I think that if you win Region 12, you can go to nationals and you can win too. So, you know. In my opinion, the breeding program equals progress. So if you have a breeding program that only preserves something and is not making a progress in the future, in my opinion, this is not a good breeding program. Breeding program means moving forward. So like I told you before, our pride and joy is to create one generation, then pick from this generation individuals that we can breed on and produce even better, and then go and produce even better. So we've been doing this now for, I guess this is our 15th year. And uh, I think we've got a, an incredible herd of horses now. In fact, the best way for me to describe that, we have 12 foals this year. Six of them belong to somebody else. In other words, they picked our mares to inseminate with the sire of choice. And um, without mentioning names, but I'll give you an example. One of these uh, breeders happens to have 400 horses, and he picked two of mine to breed. So that tells you a little bit about what they see in the quality of our horses. And that's a tribute to George. He's just uh, absolutely magnificent. I have the best teacher in the world, and that's George. George has been doing this for 40 plus years. His whole life is devoted to the Arabian horse. And he knows pedigrees, talk about a horse, he'll tell you about the grandmother and the grandfather and uh, so on and so forth. George is, and I tell him this and he'll agree, he's the worst salesman in the world. He's the truth teller. So if you're gonna buy a horse from Hennessy, he'll sit with you and he will tell you all the things that are wrong with that horse. But he'll also tell you all the things that are absolutely right about that horse. But you can make an informed decision. You will know everything there is to know, but you will make an informed decision. And we always stand behind our horses. We have been for four years, not consecutive, mind you, but for four years we were a um, breeder of distinction, winning the highest number of points by far um, with all of our horses that were competing. So the Hennessy horses are doing very, very well and we're very proud of that. The best way to talk about legacy is to view it through the eyes of the people who are most affected. And the letters that we get from customers of ours who bought horses make me very proud. They tell me the things that they've accomplished. We've got lots and lots of testimonials. They're so proud to have a Hennessy horse and they know that we'll always treat them fairly. Our farm is open to everybody. We have a lady who owns a company called Farm Doors of Macala, and uh, I asked her one day, so how many people do you bring to Hennessy Arabian? She said, well, first of all, it's everybody's favorite farm to visit. The horses are so friendly, um, they're easy to be with, to pet, you're open. If a vet's here and doing whatever you know she's doing, um, I invite everybody to watch, and we tell them what we're doing and why we're doing it, and so they get a good feel for the horse. 
So she said to me, I probably bring a thousand people a year through your farm. So the whole thing about it is introducing the Arabian horse to the world. The Arabian horse is special. And all the stories that you read about the history of the horse, they're all true. I, I have a horse, uh, it was my driving horse, Miss Vogue. We took her to this uh, rehabilitation facility in Tulsa. And there were about 70 people, a lot of medically fragile kids, kids that had never seen a horse. They were abused kids. This horse walked around in a semicircle and touched everyone, all those kids. They could reach out and touch the smiles on their faces. This is what the Arabian horse is like. It's, it's highly intelligent. It's easy to be with. Uh, some of them are moody and you know, it's like everything else, but on balance. They're very, very gentle and friendly horses. And the, the world needs to know that. There's a place for them. That's what this place is all about. We got this idea that, you know, since WAC is just 10 minutes away, that we should take this chance and get the people here and so they can see our horses. So there's no formal presentation. We are not, you know, showing sell horses. No, we just want people to come and walk through the pastures and talk to them and see what we've done, what we are going to do, uh, what our plans are, and you know, and, and, and stuff like this. So it's relaxed. But now you have to feed them, right? So since I'm from Poland and I love sausage, <laughs> so uh, I got this idea uh, uh, with Frank that uh, we are going to have Polish sausages for lunch. But you know, but you cannot buy good Polish sausage in regular, uh, you know, supermarket. No, they don't even come close to what the Polish sausage is supposed to be. So anyway, so I went to the uh, Polish deli uh, is in Leesburg, so it's a little bit down south, you know. And I ordered 50 pounds of this Polish sausage that we brought here. So now we have plenty for everybody. So, you know, enjoy Polish sausage. And then, you know, we got a little bit of sauerkraut, we got pickles, so it's Polish as Polish can be. Here we are live at the Hennessy Arabians, and we're about to indulge in one of George's Polish sausages. Juicy and delicious. It's mine, mine. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> 